sana cha kwenye ukumbi wa Bomas kabla ya kutangazwa mshindi wa uchaguzi kwenye kiti cha urais. Tuelekee kwenye kaunti ya Makueni uh, kwenye eneo bunge la Kibwezi West tupate kuungana naye Steven Zioka aweze kutujuza sasa hivi yapi anojiri upande huu. ta vema kama ulivyosema niko katika eneo bunge la Kibwezi West na itakumbukwa kuwa ilipofika hiyo jana jioni tume ya IBC ilikuwa tayari imeweza kutangaza washindi wawakilishi wa wadi eh, na, na vile vile wabunge ambao waliweza kushinda katika maeneo yote sita ya ubunge sita katika kaunti ya Makueni na vile vile katika maeneo ya wakilishi wodi 30 ni katika kaunti ya Makueni na niko hapa tu taswira kamili ukiangalia nyuma yangu kuna wale ambao waliweza kufeli kwenye eh, kwenye uchaguzi huo na wako na malalamishi na wamesema kuwa tume ya IBC haikuweza kufanya vema na haikuweza eh, kufanya vizuri ama 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 iliweza kukuwa na dosari kidogo na ndipoza nimesimama hapa uweze kutoa kauli yao waseme ni nini haswa malalamishi yao na niko hapa tu picha ya, ma, ya eneo hili la kibwezi magharibi ni kuwa hapo eh, eh, siku ya kupiga kura zile kimski ziliweza kufeli katika maeneo 85 85 na, na eneo hili liko na vituo vya kupigia kura e, mbili na sita na wakati huo baada ya Kimskis kufeli e, yule mwenyekiti wa IBC aliweza kuingilia kati na upigaji kura ukaanza wakitumia zile wanaziita manual voter register na ikaweza kuanza kuchelewa na sasa hivi nataka tuungane na umoja ambao hako na malalamisha tuelezeni nini haswa mbona wajaweza kuridhika labda ukaribie karibu kwenye KTN utuelezee asante Majina ni Kodemas uh, Mudoka ambaye ni uh, member of County Assembly ya Makueni awali na kuna malalamishi mengi ambayo uh, yametokea. What I can say and I want to address the auditorium chair who is Mr. Chebukati. This is the worst election we have ever had in Kibwezi West. We've complained about uh, the kits which never worked. They only worked uh, I think only two kits worked within uh, Mali Mulala and what i can say i'm speaking on behalf of, uh, of, of uh, four member of uh, mps and over 25 uh, uh, mcs who are really complaining about the, the, the electoral process uh, there were so many irregularities uh, the auditorium chair this is the worst election in kibwezi west we have ever experienced na yale mambo ambayo tumeweza kuyaona zile kiti zilikosa kufanya kazi na baada ya hapo tulikaa over five five hours until when there was a go ahead for the manual register to proceed one we had uh, an issue whereby one of the candidates uh, voted in a stream in uh, Mali Mulala and upon counting the votes uh, at the end of uh, signing the form 36A we realized that uh, he got a nil vote lucky enough he himself he had taken a photo of just for historical purpose because he really wanted because to him this was his last election and he took a photo of the the ballot paper and upon counting of the votes he got nil votes i was up, the question is hiyo kura ilienda wapi ambayo ilikuwa ya kwake that means it was given to somebody secondly we had issues whereby uh, the, the the observers uh, were also seen when the certificate was being issued uh, to one of the candidates this is very amazing we do not know if these were credible observers or they were just the genuine observers because i don't see over four observers accompanying one candidate to go and receive a, a certificate while during the process they were moving around into the into the polls this is a shambolic polls uh, I, i can say the term chair thirdly there were issues uh, to to do with uh, bribery when the kids stopped working in between there was so much bribery and we if this are uh, if this matter is not taken seriously we will go to court because we have evidence we know of people who were bribing using phones we we'll go to mpesa and we get these accounts and we will make sure that we are shame this is the worst uh, election i can say how our people in our, the, the returning officer really failed us completely in one of the po uh, polling station the po the presiding officer left the polling station and went to vote he stayed for over three hours he came back what really happened in between nobody was left in charge so for us is we are calling upon chebukati to order a, a repeat of the entire process of kibwezi west that we need this process to begin once more fresh and we need proper and trained uh, POs 
who know what they are doing. You cannot uh, recruit a PO from a local same polling station, leaves his assigned polling station, goes to vote where he's supposed to vote, and to make the matter worse, he is ferried. He's given a lift by a candidate to go and vote, and he's supposed to be in charge. So uh, please, Mr. Chabukati, we need a, a repeat of the entire process. The same way you did to Kitui and Kakamega, please do the same to Kibwezi West. Otherwise, uh, by Monday, we'll go to court, and I'm sure justice will prevail. Thank you. Na mwasa kumusikia huyo ni Nick ambaye alikuwa uh, al, al, alikuwa mwakilishi wa wadi hii ya Emali Mulala katika eneo bunge katika eneo bunge la Kibwezi Magharibi. Na itakumbukwa kuwa eneo bunge hili la Kibwezi Magharibi iko na maeneo ya wadi maeneo manne na tayari washindi wa mweza maeneo sita samani na tayari umeweza eh, IBC umeweza kuwatangaza washindi katika maeneo hayo na pia eneo bunge hili bunge mpya tayari ameweza kutangazwa ambaye ni mweki mutuse kwako studio Asante mwenzangu Steven Zioka kutoka kaunti ya Makueni kwenye eneo bunge la Kibwezi West. Na tuelekee kwenye kaunti ya Baringo. Kumbuka kwenye kinyang'anyiro cha gavana kwenye kaunti ya Baringo ushindani mkubwa ulikuwa unashuhudiwa kati ya Benjamin Cheboi ambaye alikuwa gavana wa kaunti hiyo kwanza mwaka 2013 na anatetea kiti anataka kiti hicho kwa tiketi ya chama cha UDA akiwa anapingana na Stanley Keptis ambaye ndiye gavana wa sasa kwenye kaunti ya Baringo ambaye anagombea nafasi hiyo kama mgombea huru. Na no, Kipkemboi over